Swimming, I think, is a difficult thing. It's yeah. something if you didn't start at an early age, it's hard to learn when you're older. Right. How often do you normally swim then as part of training? I try to do twice a week, but no longer than 30 minutes because I feel just so exhausted because I'm not very efficient that yeah. it would ruin my, the rest of my training. <laughs> so I need help on that. <laughs> Right now, you enter your hand like this and you're just kind of, I guess, wasting time. You want to enter the water ready to pull. The way you move forward is this lever yeah. pushing the water. So you want to have your elbow up high and get all this on the water. Pulling the water. Okay, so when I go, I was like, already ready. The breathing is a whole nother thing. Like, so it's like every three? I'd say I breathe quite, if I'm doing like an effort, a full out effort, I'm normally yeah. breathing actually every other stroke, which really? is a lot. Um, like a sprint, if you were to do a sprint? A sprint or even like in, so in my race I do a 1500 meter swim. Mm -hmm. I go one side, so I'll just breathe, Boom. breathe. Okay. Kicking is a lot from the hips down. Um, okay, it's not we, from the knees down. Right. Like flutter. We do a lot more pulling to gain upper body strength and it helps more in open water swimming to have uh, more strength, more strength up, up above up. and just kind of save the legs, I guess, for the bike and the run afterwards. Okay. okay, that makes sense. So you would do like a buoy in between your legs and like... Exactly, and then put okay. paddles on um, just to create some more resistance and build that strength. 